if you're moving to Boston, trying to figure out the best fit for you, your family, matches your needs, your lifestyle, which part of town seems like the best option for you. In this video, we are focusing on the area of Malden, talking about what it's like to live there, what it costs to live there, what that lifestyle looks and feels like in Malden when it comes to living Boston. So let's get into it. Hey there, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Jacob Pystrup. And real quick, if you are moving to Malden or somewhere else in Boston, whether it's the city, the suburbs, somewhere else, and you're moving to the Boston area and you want some help with that process of buying a house here, signing a lease, moving to a new city and narrowing in on the right fit for you so you don't end up in the wrong neighborhood, send us a text, send us an email, give us a call. We are real estate advisors. I work in real estate. I help clients all the time who are moving to Boston and that is my favorite part of my job. So let's get in touch. If you want to work together, let's set up a call and let's get you here to Boston and possibly Malden. So Malden is a very mixed market. There's a lot of stuff out there. It's kind of suburban, kind of urban in some parts. It is really close to Boston, so it's not in the city. You don't have that very urban city lifestyle, but you're very close to Boston. Malden is very very close by, so it has aspects of that city lifestyle, but also the ability to have a house with parking, with a backyard that's still close to the city, but has more of a suburban, you know, neighborhood feel to it. And the one thing that's unique about the Malden market compared to other places in Boston that have just skyrocketed with prices over the last couple of years is that Malden's been pretty consistent. You know, they've been growing steadily. It's been pretty consistent in most cases within the Malden market. And it's not like an area like South Boston or Dorchester or Seaport that has been seeing just like this exponential growth with prices. Malden is more steady, you know, more predictable in some ways with the housing market. And it's got a really healthy mix of single family houses, apartments, condos and multifamily that are all pretty easy to find in Malden. It has pretty much everything you could want in the housing market. So we'll talk about that in a minute, but overall Malden has not been seeing these, you know, dramatic increases in price and decreases in inventory. Anything with inventory has been since 2020 for the most part. But overall, I mean, compared to some other areas in Boston where things are going crazy right now, Malden is a little bit more relaxed. It's more, you know, laid back. It's more consistent with what it's been in the last five years. So Malden is kind of like this emerging market in the Boston area where people are starting to move out of Boston and into some of the, the suburbs around it, like Malden, Everett, and Somerville. So Malden is kind of this area where people are coming out of Boston and into Malden, whether it's because Boston is too expensive and they don't like the prices, or they just don't want that city lifestyle anymore and they want more space, you know, they want a backyard, they want easier off-street parking. A lot of that is easier to find in Malden than it is in the city of Boston. But you also have a lot of diversity as far as who lives in Malden. Now, this isn't me trying to steer you. Malden was actually ranked as the fourth most diverse suburb in the Boston area by niche.com. So if you like diversity, you will find that in Malden. There are people from around the world who live in Malden, lots of languages spoken, lots of restaurants, lots of cuisine that you will see in Malden because it's very diverse, lots of different people, lots of different cultures that come together in Malden. So, I mean, you have a lot of this kind of international aspect of being in Malden, lots of different restaurants, cuisines you'll see, anything from Vietnamese, Thai, Indian, Mexican, Chinese, and of course your American restaurants that are easy to find. But then you'll see stuff like, you know, these Asian grocery stores or these food markets and little shops from, you know, different parts of the world. I have some friends from Brazil. I've been into a Brazilian grocery store there and a Brazilian kind of bakery pastry shop in Malden. I don't speak Portuguese. I know a little bit, so me enche um pouco, but I know a little bit from having friends from Brazil who live in Malden. It's a great area. You will meet people from all over the place if you live in Malden. So that's one of the things that I love about it. Never lived there, but I do have friends and a lot of people that I know who live in the area. But I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like a place like Malden, you go there or you have friends who live there, you meet people from all over the place, which is one thing that is really cool about it. So as far as, you know, the real estate market in Malden, like I said, 
it's been growing more consistently and more steadily than some other parts of Boston that have seen these dramatic increases in price where some people just get outpriced and they can't afford it anymore. In Malden, it's been more consistent the one exception to that is kind of with the multifamily market. So with two units, three units, and four units, there's been a much steeper increase in price for that market compared to single family and condos in Malden. And one of the great things with the multifamily market is that it appeals to a lot of different people. So some of our clients buying multifamily have multi-generational households where they want some space for the grandparents and then the parents and then the kids to have their, you know, their own space but still live under the same roof. And then sometimes you might have a buyer who wants to buy it. And then, you know, if you want someone to pay down the mortgage with you, you have roommates or you just want to lease out those other units. Again, that is a great option of going with multifamily. And then of course you have just your traditional investors who don't want to live there. They just want cash flowing property. So those are kind of the three big groups of people that I see buying multifamily, whether it's in Malden or another part of Boston, those are kind of three really big categories and big reasons why multifamily has kind of become, you know, a big thing. And especially recently with, you know, the idea of house hacking and the idea of, you know, living in one unit, renting out the others and either living there for free or, you know, having a significantly lower payment for that mortgage every month when other people help you pay it down. So that's the one thing that's been increasing more in Malden compared to the other categories is multifamily versus the single family and the condos. And again, I mean, Malden is great because it offers that aspect of having a more suburban lifestyle, but still being extremely close to Boston where you can have a backyard, maybe a garage, or at least some sort of off street parking, but still you're like 10, 15 minutes to get to downtown Boston. So it's extremely convenient in that aspect. And it's also a great option when other parts of town become way too expensive, like Newton, Brookline, you know, parts of South Boston or Seaport, when people get kind of forced out because it becomes so expensive, places like Malden that offer kind of that consistent growth are then more affordable for people who are leaving Boston. And you know, for what's nearby for work or shopping, eating, entertainment, you'll obviously have options in Malden and in the areas around it, like Somerville, Everett, Medford, and of course, you're like 10 minutes away from downtown Boston, so you have everything going on there just not the prices when you move out to Malden. So that's the one benefit to it. Just for entertainment nearby, Malden is a five minute drive from Assembly Row, which is a huge shopping center in Somerville. And it's next to a bunch of shopping and entertainment next door in Everett, which is where you have the huge new Encore Hotel and Casino. So lots to do and see in Malden and in the areas around it like Somerville and Everett. So if you are moving to Malden or somewhere else in the Boston area and you want help with that process of buying a house or signing a lease, like I said, please send over a text or send an email, give us a call, whatever works for you. Let's get in touch so we can get you here to Malden or anywhere else in the Boston area. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you take care. And until next time, I will see you in the next video right here on the Living Boston channel.